Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of dx over 2x plus 5. So we actually have here integral yielding natural logarithm. So we will use the formula integral of du over u is equal to ln absolute value of u plus c. So before we can apply this formula in our given integral, let's have u substitution first. So I can let u be equal to the denominator 2x plus 5. Then get the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u, that's du. Derivative of 2x plus 5. So the derivative of 2x, it's just 2. Plus derivative of 5 is 0. So 2 plus 0, that's just equal to 2. Then don't forget the dx. So we have created this term dx on the original integral. But we just have an extra coefficient of 2 which we don't need. So I will get rid of that by dividing both sides by 2. So, I will have du over 2 equal to dx. And if we substitute, we will have the integral of. So, let's start with dx. It's equal to du over 2. Then, all over 2x plus 5, which is equal to u. So, this 1 half is just a constant. I can just put it in front of the integral first. So, I will have 1 half integral of du over u. Therefore, we can apply this formula. So, 1 half times the integral of du over u is equal to ln of absolute value of u plus c. But don't forget, let's transform back the u in terms of the original variable x. So, u is equal to 2x plus 5. So, the final answer will be 1 half ln of absolute value of 2x plus 5 plus c. So, this is the final answer. For number 2, we have the integral of dx over x ln x. So, let's apply u substitution first. So, if I let u be equal, let's try ln x. I will have the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u, it's du. Derivative of ln x, that's 1 over x dx. So, therefore, we have created this term dx over x in the original integral, which now equal to du. If we substitute, we will have the integral of. So we can start with dx over x. So that's equal to du. Then over this ln x, that's equal to u. So therefore, we again have integral yielding natural logarithm. The integral of du over u is ln absolute value of u plus c. And let's transform back the u in terms of the original variable x so u is equal to ln x so the final answer is ln of the absolute value of ln x plus c for number three we have the integral of 2 e raised to x over 1 plus e raised to x dx again let's use u substitution first so let u be equal to the denominator 1 plus e raised to x Get the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u is du. Derivative of 1 plus e raised to x. So the derivative of 1 is 0. Plus the derivative of e raised to x. It's the same. e raised to x. So we have 0 plus e raised to x. Or that's just equal to e raised to x. Then don't forget the dx. So if we substitute, we will have the integral of. So by the way, this 2 is just a constant. I can put it in front of the integral. So, I will have 2 integral of, so this e raised to x dx, that's now equal to du, then all over 1 plus e raised to x, that's equal to u. So, let's evaluate the integral. So, we have 2 times the integral of du over u again, that's ln absolute value of u plus c. Then, let's just transform back the u in terms of 1 plus e raised to x, so we will have 2 ln of 1 plus e raised to x plus c as the final answer. For number 4, we have the integral of sine x plus cosine x over cosine x minus sine x dx. So let's try to let u be equal to the denominator cosine x minus sine x. Then get the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u is du. Derivative of the right side, term by term. Let's start with the derivative of cosine x. That's negative sine x. 
then minus the derivative of sine x that's positive cosine x then don't forget the dx so if you factor out the negative in the sine and cosine i will have negative times the quantity sine x plus cosine x dx which is part of the original integral so we just get rid of this coefficient of negative 1 so i can divide both sides by negative 1 so du over negative 1 that's negative du then cancelling out the negative 1 on the right side we are left with sine x plus cosine x quantity dx so we can now substitute we have the integral of so the sine x plus cosine x dx is now equal to negative du over this cos x minus sine x in the denominator that's equal to u so therefore we have the integral of negative du over u so this negative is just a constant of negative one i can just put first in front of the integral so i will have negative integral of du over u evaluating we have negative integral of du over u that's ln of absolute value of u plus c then let's just transform back the u in terms of cosine x minus sine x so the final answer is negative ln absolute value of cosine x minus sine x plus c okay so now it's your turn so try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers